Hey guys, welcome to Everyday Data Science. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL interview in 50 question series, where we are trying to learn hands on SQL using 50 carefully created questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So, so we are learning about select, basic joins, right, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping advanced selection joins, uh, subqueries, and then advanced string functions, regex, and clauses. Okay. In the previous video, we solved the question about article views where we learned about filtering using where clause and then sorting using order by and how to drop duplicate rows using distinct. Okay. In this video, we are going to solve the fifth question of the series, invalid tweets, and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So the fifth question of the series is invalid tweets and let's look at the companies this question has been asked in. So Amazon and Twitter over the past six months. So important question, right? So let's jump right in. The question reads, we are given a table called tweets with two different columns, tweet ID and content. Tweet ID is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. This table contains all the tweets in a social media app. We are asked to write a solution to find the IDs of the invalid tweets. The tweet is invalid if the number of characters used in the content of a tweet is strictly greater than 15 order of the result does not matter okay let's go through this example right so here there are two tweets one is vote for Biden, and second one is let us make america great again okay so now once we have these two if you count the number of characters right so one two three four then space is five six seven eight nine and then 10 11 12 13 14 so strictly greater than 15 is invalid so it is less than 15 right so this is a valid tweet but this is clearly greater than 15 so this is an invalid tweet so what is the tweet id of the tweet that is invalid two and that is what we have in the output okay so to do this, what we need to do is basically we are going to use a filter clause where, but to do the filter, we need to firstly count the number of characters in the column called content. So what we need to do is from this table called tweets, we are only required to keep those rows. So where the length of the characters in the content column is greater than equal to 15 because it says strictly greater than 15 now you might be thinking okay so there is a function called length in my sql and we can directly use it but i will just tell you that technically it is a wrong solution even though it will pass all the test cases even though it is accepted by my sql why i will tell you so let me do this right so where length in the content right length in the content column is strictly greater than 15 you need to basically return the tweet id right return the tweet id uh, let me put a semicolon let me go ahead and run this right let me go ahead and run this and this is accepted right our output is same as expected output let me also go ahead and submit it to show you that this is going to pass every test case. so you see it is accepted as well but there is a problem with this so what is happening is the length function right this counts length in form of bytes and not in number of characters right so basically if this is counting the length of the value in the content column by number of bytes since this is written in plain english so every you know character is basically one byte so that is why this is working in this case however let me go ahead and show you a difference so let me open a online compiler and show you how the difference comes right and before showing that the correct function to use here is care length so basically the question says the tweet is invalid if the number of characters used right so we need to make sure so the question is written explicitly number of characters right here we think we are counting the number of characters but in the background it is not doing that right let me open that compiler and show you okay so just look at it so here 
do not worry about the code that is written here all it is doing is basically it is setting up a variable called a and there is a so because these are tweets right so this question is about tweets and you know people use a lot of em emojis another symbols etc right so this is one of the symbols basically usually is used to represent the copyright symbol right and we are converting it into a utf format do not worry about the format as well so basically and what we are doing is we are trying to count the length using char length function as well as the length function that we just used let me go ahead and run this so obviously like if you just look at this right how many characters are this one right there is only one symbol so one character but let me go ahead and run this and tell you that okay so see do you see this the length it is counting it as two why because this converted into utf8 is actually assigned two bytes so length is counting the number of bytes and not the number of characters but care length always counts the number of characters right so that is why it is good and to make our solution pass every test case we need to use care length right so we need to write care length so now what we are doing is we are actually doing what the question is asking us to do so from the table called tweets we are only keeping those rows whose tweets are invalid and the way to know is the number of characters so care length in the content of the tweet is strictly greater than 15 and for them we are returning the tweet id let me go ahead and run this th now so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases or not so yeah this is accepted and well and passes all the test cases so be aware that even if you think something is doing the right thing but in the background it is not right so it is one of those cases where it's kind of deceiving because length function just the name suggests that it is going to count the length but it is not right so make sure to use care length instead of length when such type of questions arrive this is where in your interviews the interviewer go is going to trick you right but if you are able to answer this this is going to be very impressive as well so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video